Hey guys, I'm Kate Simsley, and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I'm glad that you're back, and if you were new, welcome in. Today we are building, um, well, we're actually renovating and redoing what is called, in the game it's called the Rusty Horseshoe, and we have turned it into the Rusty Spur. So in my mind, there's new owners, and it got a renovation and a facelift, and it is now the Rusty Spur, and it's still a nightclub. It has a dance floor and a stereo, and some tables and chairs, and all the things that a nightclub would require. And so that's what you're going to see. It is in the style of like a western saloon, so it's very boxy and square. It's all wooden and just really wild west. We're going to start on the outside, and it comes together like pretty simply. I do change out the sign that I'm putting on the building, I do change it out at the very end. I found um, new ones that came with the new pack, and one of them worked a little bit better, and so that will change. Speaking of the new pack, okay, <laughs> so, love the build by. Think there's some really cute things in there. Um, in fact, over on Twitter, I like posted a picture of some of my favorite items that are from the pack. There are some really cute stuff in there, and I love the new upright piano. It's adorable. I liked the other upright piano we got, but this one's way better. The swatches are great. I like, all this stuff comes, well, most of it, comes with these, like, worn-looking swatches, and that's just my thing. Like, I love things that are worn and old-looking, and so that makes me happy. The gameplay. I haven't done a lot of gameplay. I did initially, I got a pony, like, I got a little horse, and I have no idea what you're supposed to do. Like, when they're little... There's not much to do. You can't ride them. I had to train my horse to eat hay, which seemed a little odd to me. Like, I mean, the horse is not a brand new baby. It is, um, it's a pony, I guess. Like, I don't know what you'd call it. It's not a foal. Like, it's not a little tiny baby. Anyway, I did train it to eat hay, and I thought that was a little weird. I haven't done much past that, like, at all. I've seen a lot of people online talking about how the equestrian center is a rabbit hole. Which, honestly, to me, is not surprising, because this is The Sims, and everything is a rabbit hole. I think of, like, Discover University, how you can join the soccer team, but then it's a rabbit hole and you can't see the soccer game. It drives me nuts. Like, I can't why. The animation for that would be very difficult. But yeah, it's a little... it sucks. I don't know. But the Equestrian Center apparently is the same way, and so you never get to see anything with your horse training. To me, that's a huge missed opportunity. Horses are set up to be pretty much exactly like cats and dogs. I can train my dog. I literally can train my dog to play fetch. I can train my dog to sit. Why can't I train my horse to do these things? Like, I haven't tried. Maybe you can. But, like, they could have done horseback riding. Could have been a, like, skill. And you could have taught them how to jump or, like, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played, so I'm not sure maybe these things are available. I really don't know. But from what I'm hearing, it's pretty shallow and lacking, and that makes me sad. Like I said, I haven't really played a lot of gameplay. The little pony that I got is pretty boring. Cute as a mutton. It is super cute. But, um, yeah, I got bored really quick and started building, and this is what I came up with. So... You saw the outside come together. We're going to move inside momentarily and um, set it up. We've got the bar there, and I struggled. Okay, first of all, you're going to notice I built this the wrong way on the lot. When I was done recording, I had to go and turn the entire building and then redo the side. So your stuff you're seeing outside is going to be different because I end up changing it because I had to turn the building because the lot goes long way, not it's not fat. It's, like, it's not wide. It's long. Anyway, decided to change it. But, uh, it all came together really quick. But I did struggle to get tables and chairs in here. I didn't realize that I need three tables. And in the new pack, the tables are all pretty big. Like, the dining tables. They gave us this cute little end table. It's a little round end table. I wish they had given us a dining table that was small like that, too. Like, I know we have some. But for this build, I stuck to just base game and the new pack. Except, listen, I put the garbage can in. It's for my little living. I do remove that. But yeah, um, I stuck to base game and the new pack. And so there, like, there are a few tables, but there's nothing, like, I didn't really want to do it. 
I wanted to use as much of the new pack as possible, so I used the tables, the big round tables from the new pack, and they're adorable, I love them, they're huge. And so it was difficult. At first I only put two in, and then I realized, oh, you need three. So I ended up coming back and changing it and adding another one. But it was very difficult to get it all into this little wee space. I did manage to do so, and it does function, I did playtest it. And Sims were dancing, they were chatting, they were, yeah. The new bar back there, behind the bar. I love that. That's cute as well. Again, it's got a swatch that is very worn looking. Um, I made the upstairs. It's literally just got like two chairs, a vase, some stuff on the walls, and the bathrooms. And it's all open to below, so when you're going up the stairs, you can see the bar and whatever. I did struggle to pick the shape for up there, though. Like, I really did struggle. It was, it was a rough go on that one. I changed it like 17 times, so I cut a lot of that out. I actually cut out quite a bit of footage of just me fiddling around and looking at different swatches. I didn't think it would be so fun for you to watch. And so I cut that out. But I do, like I said, I love the new piano and the new swatches. The new floors are really nice. I just, yeah, I like it. I will say that, like, even with the better build by, like, the stuff you get, I feel like there's things missing. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like there's a few, I can't think of it off the top of my head right now, but there are some things, now, if you have other packs, you will have these things for the most part, like, you can use the nifty knitting box, and, like, the cross-stitch box, and it's, cottage living and nifty knitting and all that work really well with this pack, but I just feel like there's a few things that are missing. Like, we got those loose shoes with, um, Dream Home Decorator. Why didn't we get a pair of loose cowboy boots to put at the door? Like, that would have been really fitting for this pack. You know what I mean? Like, could have had a blanket to throw over a couch, which in itself is a serious problem that Sims should probably address. Like, at this point, we should be able to put our own pillows and blankets on couches, and I don't think it's fair that we can't. Um... But there are, I don't know what else, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but there are a lot of things that could have been in this pack and are just not there. The wall decorations that we got are not great. Um, they're alright, like they work, but there could have been better ones. Like when you think of country, and I'm assuming like we're talking western country here, like wild west country, there are so many little things you could have had that would have worked perfectly. Regardless, I'm happy with the stuff that we did get, and, um, yeah, I think that it's pretty good. That's our new, like, wood stove in the corner. I tucked it in there because I thought it was really cute. Um, and there's a lot of little things. Like, we have the lights that I have on the wall, and there's also some ceiling lights, and so that's good. That's really good. I like it. I don't know. I like it all. I do. I'm not complaining in any way, shape, or form. I love the new rocking chairs, and I actually put two of them out here on the porch of the saloon. They're adorable. There's two different rocking chairs that came with the pack, and they're both cute, and they have great swatches. And that's the one thing I will say, that there are great swatches in this pack. The only issue that I ran into with the swatches... Did you hear I said that? Swatches? That was weird. Um, the only issue I ran into... Okay, there's doors. There's different doors that came with the pack, but some of them, the swatches don't match. Like, one is a solid color door, the other one is, like, multicolored, and there's no matching swatches, and I hate that, and I wish they would stop doing that, because it drives me nuts. Other than that, I didn't really encounter many problems. The windows are a bit like that, too, but there is, like, something that relatively matches, so it's okay. Um, yeah, no major issues that I ran into. Like I said, I haven't played it a lot. When building, I didn't have any issues, and playtesting, it seemed fine. Moving outside here, I put this little, like, fire pit off to the side. This is the part that's going to go away. I end up just turning the whole lot, and I do put it back, but it goes at the back of the building because there's not much space at the side anymore. I did manage to... Okay. None of my mods are working, as you are all probably aware. When we get a new pack or there's an update, your mods, they all break. And so I didn't have any of my mods. I didn't have tool. It was not working. I don't have better build by. It wasn't working. They're all I apparently back now. Um, so I'm gonna have to try them out today. But they weren't working, so I had nothing. I had nothing. Nothing, it wasn't working. 
Um, and like I said, I wanted to use only base game in the new pack, and so, like, I didn't want to go digging through debug and find things, and then they not be right. So I used a toy car, and I, truck, sorry, and I sized it up, and I used the new horse trailer that we got, and I kind of attached it to it, and it ends up looking super cute. But I would have, uh, rather used one of the debug cars that I get with my better build by. And honestly, without better build by, I don't know how to find anything anymore. Like, it's funny, because when I first started using Better Build Buy, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I couldn't find anything. And now, months and months later, I can't live without it. So, thank you, Twisted Mexi. If you have not tried Better Build Buy or Tool, you really should. I'll try and remember to link it, but I always forget. But, phenomenal. Phenomenal! And I can't live without them. So yeah, I didn't have any mods, and finding things was difficult, but I did end up putting, like, the little horse trailer, and I sized up a toy truck. But like I said, all this, I end up shifting it all around, and I end up putting, like, barrels in the back and another tree, because I had to turn the whole lot, because I forgot to check if I was building the right way. But as soon as I loaded it into playtest, and my sim was on the wrong side of the building, I was like, oh my god. But yeah, I fixed it, and so on the gallery, it is the correct way. And this is on the gallery, I think it's on there as the Rusty Spur. As always, there'll be a link in the description. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what I did. I built this here little bar, and hopefully you like it. So, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, as there are more builds coming out. And, uh, yeah, find me on social media. I'm everywhere as K8Simsley, and you can find this build, or any of them, using the hashtag K8Simsley. So, I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a simtacular day. Bye!